bearing in mind the love person. Uh, last week, Venerable Pekka led a very beautiful meditation. It was two weeks ago on uh, Metta Toward Ourself. And it was a healing meditation that really spent a long time scanning through the body and generating feelings of gratitude towards the body. Um, parts of the body we never really notice or, or give any appreciation to. So um, this is really the foundation, I think, of all meditation, including Metta. Um, so we can do a little gentle body scan on our own at the beginning. Um, I won't give many instructions for that, otherwise it will probably take a lot of the morning because I want to go on to um, practicing with the presence of a loved person, in particular if you have one, a benefactor in mind. And a benefactor doesn't have to be a big teacher or an Ajahn or, I don't know, a bhikkhuni or a Kuan Yin. It can be anybody who's uh, really given you something of value in this life. So anyone who you feel safe around, you feel that they're looking out for you with a sense of protection, with a sense of really wanting your own well-being. They have your best interests at heart. They might not be a perfect person, but today we're going to be focusing on those aspects of them which are loving, which are benevolent so that we can really feel that we're in the presence of that benevolence. And uh, from there, perhaps spread it to another loved person, so that we really feel uh, we're in the presence of love. And uh, it's a nice day for me to do this, not only because I'm feeling tired and like leaning upon that kind of uh, strong, benevolent presence, but because I actually feel it around me as well, here in the monastery. <coughs> um, Yes, I didn't sleep too well and we had to discuss this morning about things to maybe cut down on in the project or prioritize or taking a break, taking a rest. And uh, yes, Venerable Opeka just reminded me now you are in the presence of loved ones, you know, and I was like, I really am. <laughs> and that's just so wonderful. So hopefully um, you can also get that sense today through a little bit of a uh, cultivation of perception but also sensing into the support and the energy of this group as well <clears throat> because we are all focused on um, our own well-being and the well-being of everyone here together that's why we join uh, to practice so um, please get yourself comfortable and uh, as ever you know there's no right or wrong way to do this so please don't look for anything special but we're just inviting in a sense of ease and well-being allowing ourselves to notice whatever sense of peace or safety is available for you right now. <laughs> Maybe the comfort of your sofa <laughs> and the lovely feeling of being together, father and son, or maybe others of you have people in the house who you care about, or maybe a pet. I'm already feeling the presence of my spiritual companions, Grace and Venerable Upeka, who are already entering a quiet, peaceful state of mind and body. And allowing the breath to settle you in. You may notice the in-breath as it enters the body and energizes each cell. And the out-breath, really letting the out-breath be long and deep. And relaxing the body. Releasing tension from the body and mind. It's as though with each out breath, the body just settles a little bit more into the sofa 
or the cushion or the chair, yielding to gravity. Allowing yourself to be held, supported by the ground below. And noticing with gladness that you've offered yourself a morning of practice. You followed a beautiful, pure intention to generate loving kindness in your heart. And just how precious, how valuable that is. And how fortunate we are to be able to join with like-minded people. <clears throat> who are also practicing supported by us. And through their support, through their practice, supporting us in ours. So we don't have to do this alone. And allow these thoughts, these reflections to gladden and brighten the heart. Noticing any sense of ease, relaxation. in the body as you gently spread loving awareness from head to toe. With almost no effort, just as though the sun was shining upon you. And you were basking in that light and the warmth of the sun. Allowing it into each and every cell of your body. Releasing tension. Feeling at ease. And as you receive the warmth and light of the sun, mindfulness and kindness that bathes your body from head to toe,
You may wish to bring to mind someone who you consider a benefactor or a loved person, as though their energy were also bathing you with the golden light of loving kindness. It may be a real person or an imaginary person. Perhaps an embodiment of compassion like Kuan Yin or even the Buddha himself. Just imagining or remembering how it is to be in the presence of this being who has nothing but your best interests at heart. How might that feel? This person accepts you completely for who you are. And more than that, they see the best side of you the purity of your intentions, the qualities in your heart that have the potential to blossom into the qualities of awakening itself. This being is not worried or concerned about you in the slightest because they know you're on the path. They don't expect anything from you at all. They just want to give. They just want for you to be at ease and at peace. So imagine feeling that safe, that accepted, fully embraced. And notice how that feels in your body right now. Yeah. 
And maintaining this perception of being completely accepted and embraced. If you wish, you could bring to mind a loved person, a very dear person in your life. Perhaps a friend or a child, a sibling. Even a pet. Someone who, when you think of them, brings a smile to your heart, maybe to your face. And imagine that they too are right in front of you, receiving the same benevolence that you just received. Sending them wishes of loving kindness, that they may be peaceful, their pain may be healed. So imagine them there right in front of you. You may get a sense of their presence or perhaps an image of their face. And staying connected to any sensations in your body, perhaps around the heart. Any sensations connected with a feeling of relaxation and ease. Spread loving kindness to this person. Perhaps using a few simple phrases like May you be happy. May you be free. May you be healed. May you be at peace. Making these phrases very meaningful for you and for this being who you care about. Really getting in contact with your deepest wishes for them. Perhaps wishes they share too for themselves. And just repeating these phrases quietly in your mind, as though offering them a beautiful gift.
and always listening, pausing between each phrase to allow the mind to incline more and more deeply toward an emotion, a feeling of loving kindness. Just by staying present without expecting anything but allowing the meta to grow. Imagining this person smiling, looking more and more relaxed and at ease as they receive this loving kindness from, from you. And from all of us here.
And this loving kindness keeps growing, <clears throat> keeps spreading, not only to this very dear person, but to other loved people in your life, to all your friends, your family, people who you have a good, wholesome, nourishing relationship with. Bringing them to into this field of benevolence, well-wishing, unconditional care.
and spreading this loving kindness to include all of us here gathered today. People we slowly get to know in person perhaps or in this very pure way through the practice. including Venerable Upeka and Grace sitting here with me now. And everyone in this Zoom room. Including all our families, all those that we love. May we all be happy. May we be content. May we be peaceful. May all suffering end. And perhaps including, starting to include all the people in our lives who have helped us in some way. All the supporters of this Bihara, the people coming to offer lunch today, the next day, in the past, in the future. All those who volunteer for a good cause. Maybe your work colleagues, even your boss, all beings who in some way have influenced our lives positively, all those benefactors we may not realize play this role. May all friendly people, friendly beings in this world be happy. Be free from pain. May they find safety and ease. May they be at peace. And the metta, the loving kindness just spreads in every direction to all beings, unknown beings, who are also doing their best to be kind. Some in fortunate circumstances, some in terrible circumstances. May they all be happy and well. All beings, human or non-human, far or near, visible or invisible, beings on the earth, in the waters, in the sky. And may all those beings who are suffering, 
maybe beings who've lost their way, perhaps people we dislike. May they too be happy. May they be free from suffering, from the delusion that causes them to harm. Just like us, they're trying their best. Just like us, they make mistakes. So may all unfriendly people, unfriendly beings, those may be involved in wars or oppression, May they too be free from suffering. May their hearts be at ease. Imagining this whole world with all its beings, sentient life, experiencing the power of this shared loving kindness and for a moment feeling peace. Regarding the world with benevolence, the way that the Buddha would regard the world. Without judgment, without anger. But with everyone's best interests at heart. So may all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Free from the greed, hate and delusion in their hearts. And once again, gently sensing your own presence, your own body. Embracing this being called you. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from greed, hate, and delusion in my heart.
And once again, imagining yourself being regarded with loving kindness by the benevolent being you chose in the beginning, just seated in their presence, feeling at ease, feeling safe. And perhaps considering how it would be to offer yourself that same benevolence. That a Buddha would offer unconditionally to you. Sabe Satana Sabe Sabe Pogala Sabe Atta Bawa Pariapana Saba Etio Sabe Purisa Sabe Aria Sabe Anaria Sabe Dewa Sabe Manusa Sabe Wini Parita I will hon to Abia Pacha hon to Aniga hon to Sukiatanam Bavi Havan to Duka Munjan to Yada lada sampati to Mawe gachantu Amasaka Sadu. <laughs> Sadu. Sadu. <laughs> yeah, I have the great shakers with me, <laughs> but it's nice to stretch, huh? Sadu. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Does Filippo like a stretch as well? Still here. Did you go to sleep? Yay! <laughs> Sean Sun. Wow, that's a big stretch. Well done. Yay. Bigger than daddy's. <laughs> Very nice. So uh, there we go. I hope that you can enter your day with a little bit more friendliness towards yourself and others. 
a little bit more acceptance of whatever might unfold. <laughs> and sometimes it might mean like going to bed, having a rest, saying, okay, time for myself now. So it's Saturday, so hopefully, unlike me, <laughs> many of you don't have to work today. Um, yes, but I'll also be having an easier day. So supported by my lovely guests. And the sunshine, which has come out as well, which is really nice, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there are five minutes or so if you wish to uh, share or ask or complain about anything. <laughs> um, especially if it's related to the meta meditation. Uh, any questions around that in general? Or it can be anything else as well, anything that's pertinent to your daily life. Um, or if you prefer, you could just write a, a note in the chat to say how you're doing now, what you notice, um, whatever it is. It's, it's all welcome. That's the purpose of metta is to embrace whatever arises, not to get some sort of special fluffy state, although that might come. Yes, Grace would like to ask something. Yes. Um, I just wanted to share that that was the um, just nicest feeling in meditation I've had in a long time. And so thank you for that yeah. holding the space. And I just felt all the energy of all of our metta. And I um, I guess I noticed thoughts when I was starting to feel the pleasantness of, oh, just remember this isn't going to last. It's impermanent. Like it's going to go down and there will be the suffering of it ending. And then uh then there wasn't that though and then it kind of that all went away and it was this lifting feeling of no but I can really enjoy this right now like there's no reason not to um and there was a spaciousness with it you know the knowing of all of that so that was really lovely <laughs> thank you for sharing that's so nice and actually quite powerful I think noticing when that clinging comes in that fear of it disappearing and realizing oh that's clinging I don't have to do that I can just enjoy it now that's yeah so lovely yeah yeah wonderful it was very nice to sit here the three of us I have to say very very lovely I felt I was being carried a little bit yeah yeah so Kim says lovely uh, I won't say people's names just in case I'll just read out the comments okay uh, the meditation felt warm and golden it is is it real meditation if I count my breaths thoughts are less unruly when I do this I mean none of it's real meditation in the sense that we're, we're training to meditate we're training uh, don't worry about that whatever's a skillful mean means but um you can try that from time to time and see how it affects the mind you know and there might come a point where it's a little bit too much force or a little bit too much uh, intention there so then you can try not doing that for a while but uh if it's from time to time that's skillful for you then yeah make use of that um it's a skillful means all of these are skillful means you know to overcome various hindrances so if the thoughts that are unruly are the biggest hindrance and you want to add some counting to your breath you can other times it might be you know kind of irritation or anger or being a little bit just grumpy and then thoughts of loving kindness is also a way to overcome other types of unruly thoughts so um yeah don't get stuck on one method but just experiment in your practice uh, someone says, thank you so much. That was very nourishing. Feeling blessed. Take care, Venerable Chanda. Much meta to all in this Zoom and all beings. Sadhu, Venerables and Grace. Feel more in touch with myself now. Lovely. Feeling so blessed to be embraced by the Buddha that I could send the same embrace to my parents and son, which was so beautiful. I could see their smiles in my mind. Oh. It felt like a fluffy fleece blanket today. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Wonderful, very warming. It was lovely to let go, soften the mind and increase loving kindness for myself and others. Thank you for sharing, Grace. Very powerful and inspiring. Yay. It is lovely. It's a gift, isn't it, when others share? It's really a gift. 
yeah we can inspire other people even we think our practice is not you know all that hot but <laughs> don't be so sure you can inspire other people and there's no fixed practice it's changing all the time yeah just good to relax great <clears throat> i wonder how uh, filippo's feeling you got a cold go cold <laughs> oh it's nice to see you both all right we're pretty much uh finished now i don't know if Manori you want to say something not usually on a saturday oh well maybe we should mention about the um upcoming retreat so uh i'm teaching a one-day retreat in london next weekend on uh the 19th london insight yay rachel's saying yay that means she's coming i guess <laughs> there are supposed to be train strikes but i'm still trying to get there so you know if i can get there so can you so <laughs> i'm traveling on the day of the worst strikes actually but somehow we'll get there and uh yeah hopefully it'll be a nice day i'm not sure they're giving a zoom opportunity so you might have to get there um i hope you can because it'd be lovely to meet some more of you in person it's been a long time uh, i know some of you overseas it's impossible but uh at least i'll do the audio recording anyways if they do video or not i don't know and then the following weekend there's a gaia house online retreat it's basically me online right it's gaia house uh, organizing it but it's just the same old thing you get me for the day <laughs> so if you'd like that um <laughs> this is the nice thing about having the same people you know they must want to come because they keep coming mm -hmm. so uh <laughs> i'll be doing this week's one the one in london is about preparing the mind for the natural breath because that's actually quite a deep stage when you can have the breath entering your mind and it's easy to be with you know most of the time we're just not ready for that and so looking at all the foundations we can build to make the practice much more effortless and organic in other words, the whole of the rest of the path and uh, some skillful ways to hold the breath too, to handle, let's say, to relate to the breath. And the following week is about uh, calming and guarding and calming the senses. So how we can make use of the senses to promote wholesome qualities in our lives and also calm them right down in meditation. So that's coming up. Uh, anything else? The usual Wednesday chanting and Friday to groups will be there so i think in a couple of weeks uh the next meta session will be led by venerable lupeka and she has a beautiful voice and beautiful clear instructions so please don't miss it because bikinis rarely teach actually simply because there are so few of us and it's quite rare to um yeah to have the teachings from bikinis it's important to have different teachers who speak to us in different ways so yeah i'll let you go now and uh maybe all three of us can wave goodbye to everyone because indy's there oh. yeah indy's there sure she wants to wave to you oh. can't see you you have to move <laughs> come come yeah awesome. grace isn't really there there's grace so shall we unmute you we can actually say goodbye that way <laughs>